What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Waze app and just a few things that you can do with it once you get it set up. Thanks so much for watching. Let's jump into it. So the first thing you need to have is obviously whether you're using an Apple phone or an Android phone, I'm doing this video on my Android phone, but you need to go to your app store and download and install the Waze app. You also need your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay connected for whatever phone you're using. If you have trouble connecting to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, I have full videos of how to connect, which we are going to put in the description below. That's step one plugging your phone in and connecting to Android Auto. So we've connected to our Android Auto and you can see we've installed the Waze app on our phone. If you're logging into Waze for the first time, you have to open the app on your phone and you need to log in. So first thing you wanna do is open it on your phone here, log in, hit confirm, register with your Google account or your Apple CarPlay, and then you just have to log in there. So it will take you a minute or two to log in. And once you log in on your phone, you're good to plug in. So just go through the prompts, hit allow. The first time you log in, they're gonna ask you to send, uh, to verify your email. So all you gotta do is log in with your email. They'll email you a verification code and you just need to hit the email, verify. So once you've logged in on your phone and you've opened the Waze app on your phone and it's logged in there, you're good to go. Just plug your phone in and it will automatically connect to your Android Auto. And then you just need to go into the Waze app on your Android Auto. And you can see now it opens up for my navigation. So there's quite a few advantages of using Waze versus Google Maps. Um, the first thing that really is speed traps is big. So if you want to type something in and you're on the route, let's say we want to go to CN Tower in Toronto. I can hit go and it's going to calculate the route and notify me of any speed traps let's along the route. QEW Toronto Hamilton and QEW Toronto Highway 403 East Oakville. This it also is six minutes faster than QEW Toronto Hamilton Highway 407 ETR East Burlington. There you can see it tells us the fastest route. It also tells us a few different routes as well. Um, we can do things like zoom in and out. And look at you can see all these little uh, indicators here are what other Waze users have posted. So if a Waze user sees a speed trap, they can post it. If they see like a traffic jam, they can post it. And it's live and it will give you updates here all along your route, which is really, really neat. Something that Google Maps doesn't do. Um, basically, once you've done that, you can search for different things along the route. If you want to add pit stops or add food, you can see all the different businesses along the route as well. Um, things like McDonald's or fast food chains, you can see along the route. So very easy to use the ways and the navigation. Um, you can see your whole route in here. If you want to find a different route, you can see the timing, how long it takes. You can see any traffic jams that are along the route. If you want to add your home address or your work address or specific places, you can just click in here on the menu button and you can add your home address. If you are looking for a specific destination, things like gas stations, you can just punch in gas stations and here it's going to show us the closest gas stations. Um, so there's lots of cool things you can do with the Waze app that's all in here. Mainly you're gonna be using it for your navigation and just help other ways users stay updated. That's the advantage of this app is it really relies on the users to give the information. So here you can see like all, if I wanted to update a speed trap, I can update a speed trap. If you wanna update a traffic jam, here I can just put here, the traffic is at a standstill and it will just notify other Waze users that the traffic is at a standstill. If I wanna update an accident, I can update the accident. Wherever I am along the route, all the users are the ones that run this interface. So that's a quick little setup tutorial of Waze and how to use it. We're gonna also do a troubleshooting video next. So if you guys are having trouble connecting to Waze, we're gonna link that in the description below once it's up. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you guys learned something, subscribe to this channel, Cars Unlocked. If you guys have questions about setting up your Waze, comment 
and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great day.